Okay, so we're back. This is part seven of the Jello reskin. And let's move on now to the next part, which is adding in these in app purchase IDs so that we can test the purchases through our device. Uh, thanks to everyone if you've made it this far in the video so far. This is, like I said, this is part seven. And uh, it's, it's um, you know, great if you guys are following along in this developer diary. It's not a tutorial and it's not really specifically focused on any particular tip. It's just me going through the process and hopefully you guys are picking up some good information as we go along in this video. Uh, just learned a couple of things on, on how to do like reskinning or adding ad networks into the game or Flory or in-app purchases as we're doing here. You know, thank you so much for the support everyone. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below or if not, please hit the like button below. That just helps this channel grow and it keeps me doing more and more videos like these and also the other business related videos. So thank you so much for everyone who's commenting and supporting on the channel so far. That's been It's always awesome to hear from you guys every single time. I know I reply to comments quite late sometimes, or I do answer videos quite late, but I do read all of them when they come in, and, and it, it really, uh, it's great to see that, honestly. So please keep them coming. Please like, please comment. It's, uh, it's always awesome to hear from you. So, all right, so I've just gone into the in-app purchase section. Uh, you will have eight in-app purchases in iTunes for different hemp packs, which are consumable, and three are for unlucky different board sizes, and one for removing ads, which are non-consumable. So these are consumable. Consumable means that the player can buy them again and again and again, and they have to pay each time. It's like buying coins. That's a consumable. Non-consumables are, for example, like they the player unlocks a level, so they don't have to pay for the level again. They already unlocked it. You know, so that that would be like a level or a weapon or uh, say some clothing for your character. And these four here, these are like non-consumable. So like remove ads. You know, the, the player shouldn't have to pay for that again and again each time. They can just re-unlock it if they change their device or if they uninstall the device, or uninstall your app. They can re-unlock that for free later. But these ones are consumables. So let's do these first. Consumable select. Uh, I just called my wife before. I said, get me some Starbucks, but she said no. Uh, she said she's too far away. What a pain. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. Arr, okay, so. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so we've got to change this. Yeah. So this has to be... Uh, using that bundle ID that we set before this one here because <coughs> excuse me because it has to be the same Arr, so let's just paste this in here so that we've got it in a place where I can find it easily um, and then if I just do a quick search if I just look for 20 hints I'm just gonna check that I'm gonna enter this bundle ID correctly, it's in that purchase ID. So it's at three points there. Yeah, you see clumsy calm .cobalt, clumsy pet day saga, that's the full ID. So I just want to make sure that that's, that's correct. Uh-huh, okay. Um, reference name. Right, the product ID has to be right. That has to be the, that has to be the correct one there, okay? And let me get this part here and delete this first part. There you go. And then this part up here, this reference name is okay. The reference name isn't isn't referenced in the code. It's just referenced in the um, in the iTunes portal uh, for reporting purposes, I believe. So this 20 hints, I think I'm going to open the game and just see how much all of these cost because I've forgotten how much they do cost, so I'll just click on Jello. <coughs> so that we get this all right. I think this first one is actually one dollar. If I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to go into one of the boards and I'm going to click on the uh, the question mark in the bottom right which, yeah, so there you go. The question mark in the bottom right shows how many hints there are and how much they cost. 
So 20 hints is actually $2.99. So it's $3 and that's tier three. And there you go, $2.99. I'm gonna add a language. <coughs> Let's just call 20 hints. Uh, to help you solve uh, the puzzle. And I'm gonna put get 20 hints here. And I'm gonna copy and paste this just so that I don't have to type that every time. <coughs> and save. I need a screenshot for the review. I need to do that in a minute. So after I put in the artwork, I'm gonna put it in. So add screenshots. Yeah, come on. Type to in app purchases. Alrighty, there we go. That remind me to do that later. So I think we're good here. I've done the reference. I think I don't know if this reference name is gonna work. We're gonna see about this. And uh, click save. Okay, we're good. That's cool. So uh, that well, I'll see the reference name, this com cobalt like uh, clumsy pet day saga twenty hints. That'll appear in iTunes, and I can I know exactly what game that is. So that's cool. Uh, next one, let's create a new one. Another consumable. Boom. Fifty hints this time. And let's see, I kept this here just so that we can copy and paste it real easy. Uh, and again, I'm just going to do a real quick check in the code just to make sure that, that that is the one that does exist. There you go, three again, so that's correct. Okay, that's cool. Uh, back into there, and I'm just going to use the same one as the reference name as well. And uh, 50 hints, how much does this cost? I'm just going to check on my iPod. That's 5.99, so tier six. Rock and roll. And you can set them to any price. You can set them in the code uh, to be a different price as well. But I'm just going to stick to what they've got in here. <coughs> All right. Put that in there. This is 50 hints. All right. Save. Uh, screenshot. I'm just going to quickly check. Reference 50 hints, 50 hints. Tier 6. Correct. Uh, I'll let the screenshot later. Alright, that's cool. That's that one done. Alright, next one. And you can see this This is just um, a real simple process, but you know, all, all this does take some time, of course. But uh, the first time I did this, it really, uh, it really did take um, like a lot of research on how to do this, a lot of reading. Um, I remember when I was first developing and within our purchases, and it took me a long time to get to get all this stuff done. Uh, just reading about how to do in-app purchases and, and how to enter them in and how to test them and so on. It was a really long process, but once I, once you've done it once, then boom, it's easy, it's just, it's just repeat. Uh, so this is 250 hints, which is $20, 1999, so it's tier 20, I think. Yeah, 1999. Next one, add a language. Um, all right, so we get 20 hints. Man, I think I need a sleep. Uh, so it's not a 250 hints, isn't it? That's why I need my Starbucks. I miss my Starbucks. All right, so Conda called Clumsy Pet Saga. And again, I'm just going to copy this and make sure that this is the one that is referenced in the code. Three times, that's correct. That's good. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, just while it's on my mind, I'm just going to quickly check and make sure I've not got any of the any of this in there in case I missed any. I can't remember whether I checked before or not. And there's none. Okay, that's fine. I was just making sure that I got all of these bundle identifiers changed to the one that I'm using. All right, so 2 to 50, 1999, description, screenshot later. All right, and then we've got one more consumable here. Select. And add our own 
bundle identifier in here. <laughs> I wish I could talk about other things as I'm doing this, guys. Uh, <laughs> my head's sort of like, because I'm tired and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about this, it's kind of hard for me to talk, so I, you know, I encourage you to play some music as you're watching this, really. I don't want you guys to be bored of the channel, of course. Uh, so five hints is one dollar. And again, I'm just going to copy this and make sure it's referenced correctly in the code. Yeah, three times. Good. Uh, 99 cents. All right, let's add a description. And we said this is five hints, isn't it? Yeah. Five hints. Boom. All right, come. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's cleared for sale. Yes, one dollar. And save. All righty. So those are all the consumables. And I'll pause the video there, and I'll come back, and I'm going to do the uh, the non-consumables in a moment. So stay tuned, guys, and thanks for sticking with me so far. I hope you're finding something useful in these videos as I'm doing them. And, and of course, as always, please drop some comments and please like this video. Um, and I'll try to get back to the reply. I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. Okay, stay tuned for the next part, guys.